the cinematography you mentioned earlier is not only helping get the resort, but elevates this movie. I, I, I'm assuming the budget is lower than one would think or something like that, but the, it is a really gorgeous film. Can you just talk a little bit about working with your cinematographer and how did you guys make decisions? Did you always agree? I always wonder about that with co-directors. So Bryce Holden, who's the cinematographer, uh, went to Michigan with us. Um, I had worked with him a lot both when we were an undergrad and when we were both, you know, sort of roughing it out in LA together. And whenever Neil and I write something, we kind of bring it to Bryce first. And this includes the things that we have not yet made and may never make. Uh, but we want to bring it to him because he's such a he's such an artist. Yeah. He's um, he's an incredible um, yeah cinematographer. And not only is he an artist, but he also just has such a wonderful energy. And he's so calming. And you know Neil and I were doing so many things at once on set. And we would go to Bryce, and he's kind of just this like breath of fresh air. Yeah, that's no, nice. And I was just so happy and lucky and grateful that we got to get, get him this opportunity to shoot a movie like this. And he really, you know, he hit a home run. Some of the shots that he ended up coming up with really make the film. And by the end, I think Neil and I, we just trust him implicitly. And the hope is that we'll continue to work with him because we just think so highly of his craft and his ability to, you know, make the camera a character. Mm -hmm. yeah. And we, we shot listed it, you know, pretty, we were pretty prepared going in. Without knowing the location, um, or had you been to that location first? Because some of those yeah. shots are clearly inspired few, by few, that, you know? we started We started shot listing before we had the right. location, but then refined it once we did. Um, and you know, I think we had the sense of we wanted to feel a little removed at first, and then as the movie gets going, you're a little more intimate with them. There's more handheld. Bryce got that right away. But the thing he's amazing at is just when you're in there on set in the moment, the just the impulse and instinct. I think of the scene where Ali arrives, where and they open the door, and it's just that slow push in. And we had about five other setups for that scene. We were gonna go close, we were gonna go, we were gonna go on her. And we did the first take of that and he just comes up to us and he's like, that's it, that's just a shot. Yeah. And you watch it on playback and you you feel something and that's all you're going for. And so his just impulse and instinct, especially with us running around like we're crazy, we're directing, we're acting, we're producing, we're like, do we have enough money to even go through tomorrow? And just having someone like that who knows, hey, don't overthink this, that's the shot. I mean, it's so enough.